Diamond here with PressureWatchHelp.com. Today, um, I've been talking about websites. Um, last week, I talked about web page speed and how that is important and how we really want that web page speed to be um, no more than five seconds and even five seconds is a little slow. So web page is very um, web page speed is very important. Um, so I'm gonna kind of this is kind of being a series of what I'm doing here is this is just kind of websites here. Um, so this is um, what I'm going to be talking about today is um, large call to actions. We need large call to actions on our web page, on our website, that kind of thing, on landing pages. And the reason why we need large call to actions is, is because if somebody comes to your website and they cannot find your phone number, they cannot find a way to get a quote, they're probably going to bounce. So if you have any questions, um, go ahead and ask them as I go through here. And um, then after I get done with this, I'm going to do a website review for Aqua Blast Pressure Washing. He sent me in his um, in his website and that way I am going to do a website review for him and so that is the goal today and that is what I'm going to do so with that being said I'm going to get started here so why do we need call large call to actions because if somebody cannot find your phone number or they cannot find your um, request quest or a way to get a hold of you, they're going to bounce and they're going to go to the next website that does have it out. And since I've been doing some website reviews and since I do Google ads, um, this is something that is, um, is a problem um, that a lot of people don't realize how much of a problem this is. They don't know, I mean, I'll go on there and I can't find their website or their phone number or their get a quote button. And if I can't find it, how do you think this little seven year old lady is gonna find it? Or this, you know, these people that aren't very um, computer savvy or people that just are lazy. And that's the biggest thing, the reason why we wanna do it is, is because we want it fast, we want it there, we want it, we wanna make it easy for people to find us. If they can't find how to answer, if they can't find it on us phone and how to hurry up and hit the button and get us there, they're probably not going to give you a call. And so that is something that we want to make sure why we make it easy. The easier we make it, the better off it is. So, um, like I say, this is something that um, it, it's and, and here's the thing. You get a lot of web designers and web designers are design people. They're not they don't care if it converts. All they want is a pretty website. And guess what? A pretty website sells nothing. Um, a good converting website sells everything. Um, you can have the most prettiest website and it could be a dud for converting. I can show you two ugly websites and they convert great. And it's like, and what's the difference? Is we got large call to actions. We got that type of stuff on them pages. So this is very important to make sure that we have large call to actions. If we don't get these large call to actions, this can definitely um, make it where it will not um, come up and not be able to do that. So. Like I say, um, guys, I know I got a few on here. I don't know how many. Um, if you have any questions about marketing, that kind of things, let me know. Um, good evening to uh, the guys, um, S3, uh, SD, uh, I can't even talk, S3 Pro and Mr. Hall. And uh, so that is kind of where I'm going at is, is we got to have nice, large call to action buttons. Um, like I said, last week I talked about page speed and why it's good for fast and, and make sure it's fast. And this week is about large call to actions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this um, website. This is Aqua Blast. Um, he sent it in to me um, and I'm going to do a website review on it. Um, so the very first thing is, I, like I say, I didn't even do what I was supposed to do. So the very first thing here is, is we're going to go over here and look at it. And, and I'm going to show you what we got going on here. So on this website, we got to make sure that um, you can read every, you know, that the design isn't getting screwed up in it. And if you look up here at the very top, we got home and you cannot read these buttons. I cannot read it. 
and right up here is the phone number if i get close enough i can see it this is an issue there is no way nobody's going to be able to see right here what this is um, guarantee that you're not going to be able to see this right here um, like i say i can barely read it and so what we need to do is is we need to do something to get that text to come out of that picture a little bit rather we do that in white or rather we do it in some color we got to get this color so we can see here so this right here is an issue we cannot see the phone number like i say is i believe it is right there but it is almost impossible to see and you can see yeah, I can barely see it on the screen that's going out of how bad that is. So this is a number one big thing that we need to make sure that we can see. And honestly, I really like to have a large call to action right in this area as um, get a quote and a phone number. Somewhere where we can read here and see what it is so we can click it and move on with it and, and make it happen. Um, I really like to see that call to action on whether it is on mobile or in this where we can get our eye, go to it. We know that there's a call to action. Hey, if you want to quote, you're going here and make it a big red button, something that stands out um, that, hey, if you need a quote right now, that is it. So looking at this, the very first thing is um, they say the three second rule is, is the very first thing you want to be able to see is what this page is when, when we're looking at it. So we're looking at pressure washing. Um, so, you know, that can be, you know, it is good and I like it. Um, he's got some talking about the service and how, you know, he owned it versus the former police chief used to own it. And that is fine, you know, and, and this is some things that, you know, is that relevant information or do we need to worry about that information? Maybe, maybe not. So that's something that, you know, that we need to look at also. So this is the very first page. And then we scroll down here to services. Again, services are good. You know, if, if we're going to show a concrete cleaning, I would probably, and I don't know if there was, but I don't see it anywhere. I would probably put a concrete cleaning pictures right here so that way the concrete pictures are showing with um, concrete cleaning that way people know what you do um, you know exterior house wash um, when you make sure that you, when you're uploading these pictures and i i didn't check we'll go here real quick to um, gt metrics and we'll check um, we'll check the uh, the page speed of it because you know this is very important so you can go to G, um, gt metrics and all you do is is copy the uh the website there and depending on if my webs um post it in there paste it test your site so we're going to see what it's going to show but again you know when we um and he did do it um you want to make sure that you are make sure that you are um that your website is getting that your pictures are named your pictures are named and your pictures are not too big make sure you um you can put them at you can send them to tinypng.com and you can actually put that picture in there and it will um, compress that picture down it'll still look good for the most part for a website but it won't um, slow your site down so let's see what it's saying here it's still doing its thing on over here so again this is a 6.4 second site so that's kind of you know we're out of that five seconds and that can be not good so we really want to get this down underneath here and again it's serve scaled images to be honest i would really think that these pictures probably didn't get um down to um, a very small thing so that is something that we really need to work on to make sure that our pictures when we upload our pictures in here we don't upload these big pictures from our cell phone that are huge and upload them. we want to um, scale them down and put them in there so that way it can do it all right so this is good um, for your your about your home page. You know, it's talking about your services. We got some testimonials on there. It's telling us about, you know, how good we are. And if you don't have testimonials, somehow make them up. Just make it a way to happen. Um, but testimonials are good. Um, that way we can do that. And that's all we have on this page. Again, Put the phone number in here. We don't even have the phone number nowhere down in here. We need the phone number. This is a footer. We need the phone number in it. We definitely need the phone number. 
Um, you know, you can scroll this whole page and the only place a phone number is, is right up here in the contact us button. Um, it, the, in both, you can't see either one of those. So, you know, put the phone number in here, put the phone number in here on these services. Um, I'm pretty sure, you know, I'm not sure either. I was going to say, you know, this is, and I think he just started this site too. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not mean, mean or nothing, but you know, on these services, have this, let me see, have it where we can click this service here that will take us to a service page. Because when we get that service page, what what's really going to get clicked is this front homepage, especially in SEO world, this homepage ain't going to get clicked. If we put that exterior house wash page and we talk all about that exterior house page and how we clean and all this stuff and we make that 2,000 um, words, then when we get there and we put in you know, some cities and all that kind of stuff, those pages are go what's going to get ranked. That's what's going to get ranked. This homepage isn't going to get ranked. And the reason why it's not going to get ranked is it's got too many, too, it's telling all your different services and all this different stuff. And, and all those websites are. So how you're going to get a certain page ranked is, is we got to get this, you know, roof cleaning Cincinnati, roof clean. And then what you can do, you know, we're going to talk about roof cleaning Cincinnati. And then in Cincinnati is, you know, it has a lot of black mold um, roofs up there. And this is how we can clean it. And in Cincinnati, this is what we're going to do. And, 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 and this is how we clean, you know. Um, Aqua Blast um, works in Cincinnati, Greater Cincinnati area, Northern Kentucky, all these different areas. And what that'll do is, is that will allow you to get um, ranked. Now, if you got a lot of competition for, say, Cincinnati, then we might not focus on Cincinnati. Like, if you're in the Cincinnati area, I would probably highly suggest you not try to rank for roof cleaning or house washing, or or um, or pressure washing, power washing, because there's a lot of people in this area that have been trying to get those keywords so there's a lot of competition so when you got a lot of competition you got to try to find you got to niche down from roof washing to northern kentucky roof washing instead of cincinnati we're going to go to northern kentucky because not as many people are fighting for that because they all think that we got to get this cincinnati so if we can get these little pages ranking and for the smaller stuff, and then that'll build our website rank up, and then that'll rank the website overall. So that is kind of the, the trick to um, doing it. I know I wasn't really going to talk about SEO, but this is a great place to talk about SEO. This is part of SEO right here. So that being said, you know, that's what we want to do um, to make sure we can do that. Um, again, this page right here is a great page. Did you know this is like the number one or number two page that people go look at? The about, the about me. Now, he's got one sentence. You know, this needs to be, and it don't all need to be about you. It needs to be about you serving the community, you serving customers, all that kind of stuff. Because what I say, it's like the number one or number two page that everybody goes look at. So this is a great place to show that you have a family or show that you love the dog. Because you know what? If I have a dog and I see that, that dog owner may buy that just because I have a dog, you know. So this is something that, you know, the little pretty puppy there is something that will make sure that people will want to um, buy from you. So this is a great place, you know, and honestly, right here in the front homepage is he talks about is the former police chief and all that. I would have probably put that right in here that way. Hey, about us, this is what happened. You know, I'm, I'm taking over for the police chief. He's retired, whatnot. You know, he still works for us, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, kind of who you are, why you do it and, and, and why you, why they should hire you. You know, this is a great place to do that. Um, the contact us page again, this page here was actually probably a blog page. So I would probably get rid of all this, but even on the contact us page, the only place the phone number is, is real little bitty up here. Now, if you don't want to be called, that's fine, but if you're not getting leads, that's something that you need to worry about. So this is something that on the contact us, I would definitely for sure put a large phone number that is clickable. Um, again, um, 
make the only thing that is mandatory is the email, which is good. Um, that's a good thing. So, you know, there isn't a whole lot there that he's making mandatory, which is good. So that way people will be able to click, you know, if you can get their email, then, then you're good to go. So this is some SEO stuff is I haven't even looked in here is his 20. Yeah, he hasn't done nothing in there. But again, if you don't have, let's see what services, this just came up. Let's see what the services say. All right. I never even seen this page. Um, so this is all the services he does again, you know, and, and I'm, and I don't know if he's still working on it. I'm assuming he is. I hope he is. This is somewhere where each one of these need to have their own page that is clickable. This is not clickable. This is not something that we can go to and excuse me. I thought I had to sneeze. So each one of these need to be into services, you know, is your home dirty? Do you have in, in, you know, you know, and even on here services, there's no place, the phone number other than at the very top. If you scroll just a little bit, you cannot see that right there. So that is something that we need to make sure that our services have their own web or their own page. So that way we can um, do that for that right there. So this is very important. Um, the other thing is, is what I always do is, is I want to check to make sure that, um, that my, what it looks like, not just by on here, but what it looks like right here. So he does have the little call button here, um, that you can hit the call button. It will call automatically. I just didn't do it there. Um, and then the top up there has the number. You can barely read the top and even on my phone, I can barely read it. Um, again, that writing right here on the back side of that color is not very, is not very good. It is kind of, um, the, the color is not very good at all. Um, so I would probably on this right here, I would probably, um, try to look at that maybe right there. Um, if we keep scrolling up, you can see the hot Creek roof washing, all that kind of stuff. And then the testimonials. So that is something that i definitely you know them are my pet peeves of a website i want to make sure that you can read the writing i want to make sure that you can know what i do i want to make sure i'm fast and again you know my services and that kind of thing so that is just kind of my thought on this website right here um, if you would like a website review go to pressurewashhelp.com slash website review and it will take you to to fill out the information um, but this was a good website because i wanted to talk about um, big buttons that type of thing and this this here does not have big buttons so you know i really want to make sure that we got places to click you know that kind of thing to make sure that we are getting able to do that so i have some people in here um, again if you would like to learn more that's not the page I want it uh, um, is go to um, I'm gonna be in Atlanta in the last February 21st and 22nd I've seen some other people talking about it that they're gonna be there um, so that is a great time to learn pressure washing. If you don't know how to do pressure washing, if you're just starting out, or if you've been in it for a year or two and you're still trying to figure out the sales and marketing stuff, there's going to be three people that they're all four of us really know sales and marketing. I mean, um, um, what's his name? Um, Cody did almost a um, quarter million dollars just in pressure washing. Um, I know Bobby Walker almost did a half a million. I don't know what Aaron did, but I know he's done a lot. I know he's the most expensive in his area and he does great. And then I took my business um, to a million dollars and I just did it last year again. So it is something that, you know, the sales and marketing side of it, there will be some people down there that will be able to, to take your business to the next level. And that is what is important is to take your business to the next level. So, um, you know, this is some things that, you know, we will be there. Um, so go check out pressurewashhelp.com slash washathon. It will actually take you straight to the, the page that you need to go to. And um, it is something that you will 
Um, you and, and you know, it's like I say, you know, I hate these people that you know they say, "Oh, you just gurus trying to make money." No, you know what? If you don't spend money, you will not learn it. That's about a guarantee. You know, even myself, you know, I've had the most free courses out there. And you know how much I learned out of it? You know how much I learned when I pay? A whole lot more because you know what? It hurts a little bit because now I've had to take my hard-earned money and make it happen. So this is why I say go to Wash, you know, Pressure, you know, Washathon 2020 and I guarantee you, you will go to the next level. Guarantee it. And here's the other thing. When you get around other people, like-minded people, and you can talk and say, hey, I did this, I did that, you know, then you can say, oh, you know what, that worked really well. You know, so then were some things that, um, that you want to definitely make sure that you get down there and do it. Um, oh, so Southeast was on and taking my people, <laughs> Cody. Um, but yeah, so there were some things. So, um, on Sunday nights, um, I'm, I'll answer some questions here too, but on Sunday nights, if you are come on here, I, I did figure out how to bring people on. Um, I did it on this past Sunday night and it was a failure, but guess what? I learned from my failure and I got it figured out. So now I know how to bring people back on to, um, onto my site and we can go there and, and, and chat. And so my goal is, is to bring some people on and, uh, and that way I can, um, help, you know, either that person out or they can give knowledge. And, you know, I know I'm going to have Raymond on, I'm probably going to get Cody on with Southeast. Um, and that way we can talk about how he grew his business and talk probably about a little bit about Washathon and that kind of thing. So these are some things I want to be doing in the future. I want to bring people in to help, um, help, help you grow your business. You know, you know, I do know a lot, but a lot of times if I can, you know, talk, if they have questions, um, Benjamin from pro wash, I know he's going to come in. He will probably be sitting right here when I bring him in. He lives and he lives right down the street from me. And you know, that is some things, you know, and, and here's the thing guys, you know what else I learned? So when I was, when I owned my own business and that I always thought competition was horrible and you know, you should just crush them and try to do whatever. Since I've sold my business, I've actually went and I've talked to almost all my competitors, you know, and it's not a bad thing to talk to your competitors. You know, it isn't a bad thing. You know, you all can learn something. You can, you know, you don't have to go tell all your pricing and all that stuff. You know, if you got a competitor that's a duddhead that's trying to undersell everybody, then maybe you do need to talk about pricing. And maybe you do need to come to the truth about pricing because pricing is very important. So, you know, this is something that is very important. So this will, you know, by coming through and doing it, that will help you do a whole lot and, um, and, and make you a lot better person. So how would you recommend cleaning a gray plastic shed that has green organic growth that is darker gray when it was purchased? Bleach it. As Tim Fields would say, put bleach on it. Um, yes, and I'm definitely looking forward to meeting everybody. I'm definitely looking forward for Washington 2020. Um, um, they, the hotel has been um, confirmed. It's in, I believe it is in Dunbar, Georgia. Is that right, Cody? Um, he sent it to me the other day. I don't remember what it was. I'm pretty sure it was. It's a Hilton there. Um, so it will be pretty cool. Um, just so that way everybody can... Um, you know, you don't have to stay at the Hilton um, if you don't want to, but that is something that you can um, definitely do. Can I talk about getting licensed and insurance, please? Nobody covers that. Okay, Jordan. Um, so I would say that getting a light, yeah, Durwoody, Durwoody, Georgia. So, and it's the Hilton there. Um, so, a license is something that you can, um, not all states require a license. Um, 
it just depends on like some cities don't really require a license per se as you just got to give them money so that you can it's a business license so to get your business license um, the things that you need to do to get that is, is you got to get set up in the state you got to set up into um, you got to get set up um, get your LLC set up so that way if you have any um, property or anything it doesn't come up and then that way you will be able to um, grow um, go from there the uh, about insurance definitely definitely get um, general liability insurance you can get it you can get it fairly cheap for what it is um, I know DJ I think he said he got his for um, um, 450 or 500 bucks for a million bucks or million dollar liability policy so that is something that you definitely need now do you, you um, workers comp um, you don't need workers comp if you don't have if it's just yourself you don't need workers comp if you have employees or stuff like that then you need workers comp um, workers comp is a whole different ball game. It's a whole lot harder. You know, it can be harder to get. Um, when, I, when I was in, um, Kentucky, um, I could not get it. It was, it was going to either cost me like 20 grand to get it for a month or a year, or we went to Ohio and then it was only just how much ever it was a percentage of whatever you pay the people basically is what it ends up being. So workers comp is something that if you have employees, you need it. And if you try to 1099 it and try not to, you know, that stuff, if they get hurt, they can still sue the homeowner and that homeowner's own insurance will not cover that lawsuit. So, you know, they're going to sue you. They're going to sue everybody. And at that point, you can be screwed at that point. So if you got employees, make sure you have workers comp. So that way you can um, keep that, you know, so that way you don't get hurt or so you don't get hurt. So the employees don't get hurt, all that kind of stuff. Oh, okay. And the... How would you recommend cleaning a gray plastic shed? That, oh yeah, just bleach. Um, I hit that. I would probably go with about a, you know, 3% or not that much. Just whatever. Can I use oxygen bleach instead of SH for house wash or roof cleaning? No. Um, I'm pretty sure. Is, is that the, the um, is that, if it's the thing I'm thinking of, the tablets. If it's the tablets, no, because it will leave a white residue all over the house so that's why we don't want to do that um building wash what's up north carolina is there any way to get information provided at washathon for then people that can make it is there any way to get the info provided at washathon for then people that can make it um i don't know what you're asking for um Washathon will be a bunch of people. Um, I don't. Are you are you kind of wanting like a class? What's going to happen at the class? I don't know. If you if you mention pressure washing, when getting insurance quotes, the prices seem to go seven fifty and north, unless folks know better spots. Um, I know DJ. He only got his for uh, around four fifty five hundred bucks. I don't remember who he went through, but that is. Um, thanks so much, your man love, your content new to all of this, getting ready to launch my business out of Florida, great advice, Ox, OxyClean powder, not tablets, yeah, that stuff will leave um, white residue on the house, um, it will leave it with the roof cleaning and the, the um, it will leave a white residue on it, um, is what I've been told. Um, so I've been told that, and I've seen pictures of it, but I've never actually done it myself. So when I'm going off that, I'm telling you what I've been told and what I've seen pictures of. Um, so it will, the pictures I've seen, it leaves white residue and everybody that I've known that do, it says the same thing. So this is something that I probably, you know, it's not the best thing to do is to do that. So, um, but Again, that is just my thought. But yes, so Washathon is in in all February twenty second, twentieth and twenty second, I believe, and that kind of stuff. Jason, any experience with getting Eflo off of a sealed paver? Eflo off of a sealed pavement. Um, 
Yeah, I have. I didn't have much luck with it. Um, it is your the thing about if it's been sealed in, um, you kind of have to the acid will probably going to eat the sealer off anyway. But even with FLO, you got to remember wherever the source is coming from, you got to fix the source. So we had a Mercedes Benz dealership have FLO over all. They had this um, paver. Um, driveway and it was huge um, and it was it was sealed and it was um, I've tr I tried everything to make that look good and no matter what I did it was just seeping even even if it would look good for the day or two we'd get a rain and it would just seep that salt right back out and so I had a heck of a time now I'm not saying that it won't come off of what you're doing but I'm just saying I mean, I tried F9, I tried F9, F flow, I tried it all to try to get it all fair. But if you don't get, if you don't cure the problem, you're just kind of putting a Band-Aid on it. Um, just depends on how much water is in there and how much water is coming out of that brick. Because that's what effervescence is, is, <clears throat> is water's coming out through that rock, through that whatever it is, that sandstone, that, and it's bringing that salt out, and then that's leaving that salt residue there. And that's what happens. Um, yeah, calcium didn't leave a light residue. Do you need an LLC to get insurance or can you just walk into a place and say, I want insurance to do pressure washing? You don't need an LLC. Um, you can walk into there because you can, you can file as a, um, you can file Again, you want to talk to your CPA, but you can file without an LLC. Only thing the LLC really does is <clears throat> is make the business part of its own own thing. So that way, they can't come and sue you and get your house and whatever you know all your stuff. It just keeps it it keeps that away from there. So it is something that you know you don't have to do it that way for sure you can go get insurance and they'll insure you without it you know if you want to give them money they're going to take it it's like you know it's like anything they're if they, you want to give them their money they'll take it yeah david no problem also i've heard there are insurance companies that specialize in pressure washing business have you heard of any of these yeah um joseph can't think of the name of it. There is a company that all they do is pressure washing. Um, they don't do they they do very little in Kentucky because they they can't only do so much. Um, we did Christmas lights, so they wouldn't cover that. So we had to go get our. We went to other places to get it. Um, but yes, there is places. They are not cheaper than anybody else. Um, and. I mean, I've heard good and bad about them. I've heard that they paid claims, and I've heard that they haven't paid claims, and they fought the claims to try to fight it. And this was somebody that was pretty large in the pressure washing world that a lot of people know about, and they wouldn't pay his claims. So, you know, this is something that, you know, it is, it is, you know, it is part of it that you got to fight sometimes. Wanting a setup, wanting a startup 12 volt setup for house washing. What's a good starter setup size gpm you can either do that five and a half um, psi De delavan and the uh and 160 or 100 psi i actually have the whole setup um let me see if i can look it up here real quick for you and i'll give you that link uh, i might be off uh, let me see what it is pressure what i think it is slash eh pressurewashhelp.com let me make sure before I give you a bad e e address slash soft wash I believe is what it is and this is the whole setup and all you got to do if you buy all the parts or whatnot and then you can and it, I got the videos on it and everything yep here's the build list right here I'll put it over here copy here I'll give you the link right here in the in the um, comments there's the there's the um so um whoever that was uh there you go steve i just gave you the link down in there um it gives you all the the stuff that you need to set up a soft wash system um if you plan on building it if not you can um sean hodges is a guy that sets them up 
Um, Cody there sets him up. Um, Sean Hodges sets up a little box for you and sends it. I don't know if Cody, Cody mostly does trailers and stuff. I don't know if he does the smaller stuff like that or not, but, um, I know Sean Hodges actually will build the whole thing, but there's a, I actually show you set up of the whole thing. Um, it's got a couple of different videos in that right there that you can, um, go over. Um... Is there a way to get the info you guys present at Washington after the event for the guys that can't make it? I don't know how that's going to work, Richard. Um, uh, it might be uh, a lot of money for that to happen. <laughs> I don't know if anybody there. Yeah, that insurance is Joseph Walters. Thank you, Cody. I couldn't think. Um, aim high. Google that. Solid post about using vinegar you may search terms to find cleaning agents for afro in general you'll want to use i always use um there's um if you go to um obviously i i would recommend f9 um flo i know it's 39 dollars a gallon but it's it's kind of half safe you gotta remember we're dealing with some of this stuff it's it's you're dealing with chemicals and this stuff can get nasty if you're not careful um if you go to a, a, a brick mason store that like sells brick and that kind of stuff um a lot of times they'll have this stuff so i know um eco chem sells some stuff um eco chem sells some stuff i tried it it didn't work on that stuff i was telling you about but eco chem sells some stuff and a lot of that can be at a local um, brick mason place also Hey there, Jason. Shopping for 12 volt pumps. Any what you recommend? Um, you can do the Delavan or the Everflow. I mean, it's one half of the other. Um, I, I mean, it's not. There ain't one that's like, hey, this is the best pump you gotta have. You gotta have this pump. It ain't none of that, dude. It's just what it is. I will have to shop around and see if I can get a good price on insurance for my pressure washing business. I want to start up this year. Hey, um, DJ's not on here with, um, actually, I thought he was. Are you on here, DJ? I thought I seen him. Liberty Power Wash. Liberty Power Wash. Is, he was on here. I don't know if he took off or not. Ask him and he can tell you what insurance he um, gets the next time he's on. Um... I was quoted 160 a month for insurance. Um, I mean, it is what it is. You got to remember, guys, when you are starting a business, this is part of the business part of it is making, getting all the little things, you know, people. And I, you know, and I, and even the other day, you know, I do it too, you know, is, you know, I, I made $450 in two hours the other day, dude was. You just got to remember that, you know, people think that you make $450, like right there, you know, whatnot. You got to remember, you got to pay for insurance and all the other crap that goes along with it. There's a lot of crap that goes along that you got to pay to um, be able to do it. So um, this is something that you have to just remember that you have business uh, expenses, you know. You know, um, just because people and, and, and don't get caught up in, the, you know, this company made a half a million dollars, a million dollars. You got a lot of all that means is it's just more money going out. You know, you got to pay, you know, um, Cincinnati did a million dollars. Well, they spent almost a hundred thousand dollars just in advertising, just in advertising. That's not all the in, when we were there, it was like twenty thousand dollars for pay um, for um, twenty thousand dollars just in workers comp is what I ended up paying. You know, that's a lot of freaking money going right out the door, you know, just to have employees. So it, it, it gets expensive. Um, things cost lots of money. Um, <laughs> David <laughs> pressure wise put, we had bad experience with Joseph Walters. Let me guess. They didn't want to pay a claim is what I'm probably guessing. Cause I've having, I've, you're not the first one to say that Davidson, um, I know some other people that didn't have a great experience with them. Um, so that is, um, I, I'm, I know what you're saying there. I know other people have had issues with them. So, um, 
you know, and they, here's the thing. They have, they cover, it's something crazy a number amount of pressure washers that they cover. It's something like a thousand or 2,500 pressure washers that they cover. It's something crazy. And you're not, you were right on about, I, I would guess where you're saying you didn't have a good experience. I'm assuming you probably either had a claim or they were probably just jacked you up the next year. They do one of the two things. They get you in cheap and then the next year they're like, Psh out the roof you recommend any specific pressure washers for beginners um i would definitely go four gallon a minute you got to go four gallon a minute don't do nothing less than a four gallon a minute if you go less than four gallon a minute you're going to have issues um you can hit two and a half stories three stories with a four gallon a minute for sure um i would probably say um the other thing I would look at too is, is, um, I would also look at, I would look at Facebook like marketplace. I would look at marketplace. I'd look at, you know, I bought, if you don't want to, I mean, if you want to buy new, then buy new. Um, then, they, then it comes down to, you know, if you got a local supplier close, then maybe buy from him just so that way, if you have any issues, you can always take it back to him. If you don't have a local supplier, you know, I, I mean, you know, I've talked, I got a video of who all I support, you know, um, basically Russ Johnson from Southside Equipment, um, you know, um, I like Lisa Seats out of Power Wash Store, um, PA, um, I like, um, I wouldn't buy a pressure washing from him probably, but uh, I have bought one from him, but Bob at Pressure Tech, um, I bought one of my eight gallons of the minute there. I mean, it's just, you know, I would also look at price. You know, I know a lot of people like, well, you just, I would price shop on them because there's can be, I tell you somebody who you might look at too, that is just starting out is, um, DJ Brock out of, um, trying to, he's out of Louisville. Um, go check him out for pricing. Um, uh, and he might be able to help you out. Uh, anyone ever been dropped from making a claim? Um, not that I know of. I'm sure there have been, but um, I do know that they like to jack prices. Usually, if you've been if you've been um, done, um, Londas Londas are good. You know that's kind of the the Cadillac Premier. Um, you know, name wise, I mean, some people say Pressure Pros junk. You know what? They all use the same exact uh, hurry clean. Yep, is DJ. You're right. Hurry clean um, is DJ. You know, everybody's like pressure pros. You know, here's in the end, they all use the same parts. They use a Honda motor. They use a general pump, and they use a plate, and they use a K7 for an unloader valve or the higher dollar unloader valve. It's just a matter of how they're put together. You know. It's just a matter of, you know, you're going to buy some, you're going to buy some that are good and some are going to be lemons. That's just, you know, I haven't never had any issue out of Pressure Pro. Um, in fact, that's who I usually bought was Pressure Pro because that's, you know, I never had an issue out of them. Um, so it's DJ, DJ Brock and Lowell. And it is Hurry Clean is who it is, Steven. Um Jason, I want to buy your Google Ads setup. Can I call you tomorrow? Um, yeah, you probably can't call me tomorrow. Um, fill out. Um, go to, and if you have, do it again. I'll look at it. But go to pressurewashhelp.com slash askjason and send me, your, um, send me your phone number and I'll give you a call. Um, or I'll, I'll, I'll uh, do it that way. Um, that's how I, I'm not going, um, not that I don't want to get my phone number out too much cause I'll get the phone ringing all the time. So, um, and then I'll be like Cody and I don't want to be like Cody. Cody has like 300 phone calls a day of people asking questions and some of them are kind of dumb and I don't want to get down that road. I give you two days a week to ask me dumb questions and they're, and I, and I'm not being mean about dumb questions. I'm just saying that, you know, and if you ask questions that ask Jason, I'll answer them back at you. 
Um, I'll probably send a video to you of it or my wife will type it out because she's a great typer and I suck at it. So I let her type out some of them. So if you're getting a type response and it looks great, um, <laughs> you don't. My phone never stops. See what I mean? <laughs> That's why I don't give out my phone number. <laughs> um you know, and, and I'm not going to say that I won't call people. I do call people because if it's something that I know that, you know, I can definitely, you know, if, if, and, and here's the thing, you know, and somebody actually, um, he sent me a message the other day and I answered him. He's like, Jason, you're the only person that answered me. <clears throat> and that's what I, you know, I try to answer every question, whether that is, um, I answer every question, whether you bring it to Ask Jason, if you uh, comment on a video of mine, if you um, ask me anywhere, I will always try to answer your question, you know, and I'm not going to give you bad information. I hate people that think it's funny to give bad information when they ask a dumb question. I don't like that. I mean, I understand that. And, you, and, you know, I make videos to the simplest of the simple. Um, I just did this trailer build over here. I'm, all, I'm, all I got to do is test it out. And I made probably 20 videos of each individual thing I did, you know, and I made it to the, the simplest of the simple, you know, how to, how to bolt down a tank, you know, I'll, I made it down to the simplest of the simple. And <clears throat> because, you know, I understand that people don't always, um, you know, people don't always have mechanical ability like I do or other people do, you know, and it takes a lot more for them to learn. So that is why I made it to the simplest of the simplest to show you how to get it done. I hate when people give bad information. I see it all the time. And that's one reason why I don't like um, people on Facebook is because that is the world's worst place to go and get information. If you're not careful, there will be people that will there's people that learned something last week trying to give you information on there and that's why i don't like it um, that is one thing that i do not like so that is something that i just decided that i want to do and i want to help the community out so if you go to pressurewashhelp.com slash ask jason or if you comment on my videos but i really like when you do ask jason so that way i can make sure i get it answered right all right let me go back up here. I was on my soapbox there a little bit. Um, I'll do it. I'll send the 500 and give you my number. Okay. My, I'm assuming, John, John, are you just wanting setup or are you wanting management too? If it's set up, you can um, go to pressurewashhelp.com slash Google Ads, I believe it is. And um, let me, I'll look at it. If you fill out that information... That is, um, and then I will get it started working. Um, get business. Yeah, let me know if it is for the um, the one-time payment or the other one. But I'll give you the link right here. That way you can um, go, if you're going to do that, then you can do the ad setup and then I'll just get you set up. But if you don't want to pay me first and you want to ask, ask that question and then I'll give you a call and that way if you have any questions or anything, I'll answer them before that. Um, I'm saving my questions for Washington. Hey, and that's something, to, you know, think of questions. And if you ask me now, you know, get them. You'll get them also when we go to Washington and all that kind of thing. Um, 1-800-ASK-JASON. Actually, you should put 1-800-ASK-CODY. And uh, Cody can answer his phone for him. Make his phone ring even more. <laughs> uh, my phone number stops ringing too, but it's people calling me trying to sell stuff to me and take my money oh i get that too dude uh the google my business all that crap what do you think about craigslist advertising i paid five dollars three days ago and got two jobs from it hey if it works spend more money i mean that's pretty good that's pretty good return right there um you know, and, and here's the thing, back when I used to start, when I first started, it was a lot of people did, uh, <laughs> I hate you, that ain't very nice, Cody, a lot of people, um, 
a lot of people you it was free so no, so a lot of people would put on there but now that it it actually costs money and not if people aren't putting on there why not put um, five dollars on one you know heck if that if you can got two jobs off of it what if you put you know you did it um once a day and you know you pay what is that seven five um, $35 or something, you know, and then that way you can, you know, maybe you might get, you know, it's just how, what it is, what, you know, you're kind of seeing, you know, all these people say you got to advertise this way, you got to advertise that way. Hey, there's more ways to skin a cat in, than uh, one, and, you know, if there's ways to do it, and, you know, I always say there's uh, how do you eat an elephant? one bite at a time so if it's this bite that bite you know it's just different ways of getting work and that kind of stuff so and it's thinking outside the box you know a lot of people don't think about craigslist anymore because it does cost five dollars you know so hey put a good ad out there and let it fly does any does everyone have the ot numbers on their trucks i having issues even reaching ohio or pa to ask and I'm not sure what paperwork I need to fill out. Just found out I'm not compliant. That depends. That depends on what size your truck is. If you are over 10,000 and one pound, then yes, you need to get your DOT um, um, stuff. And when you do that, you got to do it every year and it's a pain in the neck. And you got to, um, you have to um, have, if you're under 26,000, but over 10,000, then you have to have, a um a dot physical which costs almost 200 165 200 bucks so that's another thing you also have to come with your dot numbers um and if you have if you drive um over 100 miles from your home or your home base then you have to have carry a log book so there are some things that with the dot you have to worry about so that is why all my trucks were under ten thousand pounds um just for that reason there because i don't like doing all that paperwork it's a pain in the neck um was watching what surfactants better is apple wash good um to be honest i've never used it um i've used lemonade i've used a bunch of other ones they all you know i like stompmanade because i can use it for roof cleaning and house washing um Apple Wash is only good really if you are, um, if you are, Apple Wash is really only good for if you got the proportioner so you can do it. Otherwise, the color is gone anyway because the bleach is going to eat the color. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. Um, are you still doing a Predator washer build? I am. I am. But I haven't got it done yet because I got the motor, but I have this stupid trailer on the other side of my desk right here. Um, if you all want to see that trailer, um, I have my trailer right on the other side there. And what happened is, is um, let me pull up my camera here and I'll show it to you here since I got it all done today. Um, it's been taking me a lot longer than what I wanted it to do. So there is the trailer build that I built for the dude in Dayton. You can see it has a Comet pump there. Um, it has a four gallon a minute pressure washer, a, um, a, a, a Comet pump. Um, it's got a 35 gallon um, water tank and it's got a 50 gallon um, um, soap tank. And then the hose reels there, the yellow one's right on the other side of the water tank and then my gray hose there. So that all being said, I haven't had time to do the other stuff. So I, today I was actually trying to um, catch up a little bit on stuff. So um, this was some stuff that I just had ends everywhere. So I'm trying to get that done and out of here because my daughter is five and she's pissed off because I have that trailer over there because now she can't roller skate in the garage so I told her I'd get it out of here this week which I told him I was going to get it done anyway so but yes I will be doing that build um I, it will be coming um I'm actually going to build a whole trailer I believe it's going to be an eight gallon a minute um I'm going to because I'm going to build that that predator from nothing um and then I'm going to actually build a trailer and sell that trailer so if anybody wants that trailer um let me know 
Um, I don't know what it'll cost. It'll probably, I don't even know because I don't even know how much I'm going to have in it. So, um, I will be selling that, um, that trailer. And Mr. Cody, he don't like his 1-800 call Cody. Um, I have some success from local paper ads, but they tend to knit picky and bargain shopping senior citizens because they're on a fixed income and they live in a 10,000 square foot house, but I'm on a fixed income. You know what I always tell them people? I'm on a fixed income too. I'm on fixed whatever I make. So guess what? I'm not being no uh, bargain hunter. Three quarter ton Silverado 12 by six single axle. You should be, look on the door and what you're looking for is the GVW. Um, if the GVW is under 10,000, as long as you're not overweight of that, you're okay. Um, but that's where you want to look at, open your door. It should tell you the GVW of what that vehicle is. If it's a single axle three quarter ton, you should be okay. Um, when you get into the tandems is when that it's not okay. What do you think is the best way to quote gutter cleaning jobs? Are you, I'm assuming, are you talking about um, exterior or interior? If you're talking about interior, um, we always, I always charged, it just depends on the size of the house, obviously. So if it was, say, a thousand, say 2,000 square feet and under, um, first story, we were $179 because that was our minimum of it. So $179. Um, and then maybe if we were two stories up, then it was 229. Now, if you're talking about um, exterior gutter cleaning, um, I'd be about $10 a foot for that because I hate it. But okay, so interior. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of how we went after it. I mean, I've tried to do it, you know, price per foot, all this other stuff. It's just a matter of you know, where you are, you know, if you're able to get that or not. So you just kind of got to see what you got going on there. Um, I talked to a roofer today, 18 years, and he knew nothing about soft wash. How do I sell those jobs? Um, find the right customer to sell to. Um, cause he's going to want to replace the roof cause he can make $20,000 to replace it. So you, you tell me why he don't want you to know about it. Um, a lot of people just, you know, roofer, a lot of, there will be some roofers that will can send you work in that, but most of them are going to be telling customers that you can't get rid of that and they're going to damage it. They're going to use high pressure and pressure wash that off there and damage it cause that's what they do. Um, they, you know, you're, they're trying to sell a service just like you're trying to sell a service. So you got to go find the customers that want to buy that service. So, you know, we, the way I did it was through AdWords because guess what? People are looking how to remove black streaks. So here's my ad comes up or roof cleaning. People knew a little bit about it. Um, do you get on ladders to do the gutters or get on the roof? I always stay on the ladder unless you're tied off. That is the correct answer. The other answer is, is yes, I get up on roofs. I have. Um, I don't recommend it unless you're using safety. Don't be stupid. You know, use the goat. Use And, and honestly, you know, a, a gutter cleaning job ain't worth falling off a freaking roof or falling off the ladder. So just be careful, guys. In the end, you got to be careful. If you do something stupid and you fall off, who was, I read somewhere today that, um, actually, I think it was John Tornabini wrote that, um, there was a dude that fell off the roof twice and the second time killed him. You would think after the first time you fall off the roof that you would be a little bit more smart about that. And I know I'm talking about something by done dead, but come on guys, you gotta be smart. You, these roofs are dangerous. You know, a shingle can come undone. A, a tile can come undone. You gotta be careful up on these roofs. Um, you might just pass out. You never know. It's hot up there or something. You got to be careful on these roofs. Stay tied off. Putting together my first rig, five and a half gallon, 3,500 cold water. I'm mostly doing residential and some commercial trying to decide on skid or enclosed trailer. Do I need a 2,500 for a skid? 
Uh, and do I need a 125 gallon buffer tank? You do not need a 125 gallon buffer tank. You can get away with a lot less than that. Um, you can get away with a five and a half gallon. I run a 35 gallon minute, uh, 35 gallon pump or a tank. Um, you can even do 50, but 35 will be fine. Um, the 2,500, you should be okay with that. Um, the worst case scenario is you might need to put airbags underneath of it. Um, that way you can make sure that it is something that will help you, um, will help you keep it from, um, going down most of all our trucks that i had are um, just 2500s and they were flat beds and we put eight gallon in it bunch water tank on it and never had an issue with it so that is something that you got to be just be careful with um so i seen one question on here he asked the question what is a goat and so i'm going to show you what a goat is because that's what I do, right? So a goat is this thing right here. You can see a couple videos. I actually have a video on it. Um, it works great. It goes up and over the hook roof and it hooks and it will keep you from, um, it works great. You can actually put your feet on here and no problem. Um, they actually do a test on one of the videos where they pull like a rope right here and pull down and they have almost 800 pounds of pressure and it does not break the handle. So this here, I know it's $489, but if you're doing Christmas lights, if you're doing roof cleaning, this is a tool well worth its money. Um, there has been people that I know that do Christmas lights that actually will take a harness and tie off to this here just so that it's you know it's better than nothing and that way if you do slip you got something holding you not to say that is the best way to do it but i do know it is better than falling off um what's the minimum you charge for concrete surface cleaning for just driveways or driveway and a sidewalk residential if that's all they you know that comes down to your minimum um, you know, so, you know, we had a $200 minimum, so we would not leave the shop unless we were at least making $200. Um, even, even a driveway, I mean, I'm still at 200 bucks. Um, unless it's just a really small driveway. Um, I hate concrete cleaning. I'm not going to lie. I do not like concrete cleaning. I'd much rather do a house. Um, so it, with that being said, I would, you know, you know, and starting out, obviously, you got to kind of take what you can get. Um, but, you know, once you start learning what you like to do and what you don't do, them are things you focus on. We've been getting 15 to 20 cents a square foot for full class. And that's good, you know. I mean, 20 cents a square foot's a lot, but that's good because, you know what? You, here's the thing about it if you shoot for 200, 250 an hour, you know, a good if you're on eight gallon a minute and you can do, if you can surface clean good, you can do about two thousand square feet an hour. Um, so you know that's something that you know it is. So what is a goat? I already showed that. I'm doing gutter cleanouts in the morning, one story around two hundred fifty feet of gutter, one hundred sixty dollars. <laughs> that's not very good. That's a lot of gutter. Um, but here's, I'm going to tell you a secret about gutter cleaning. Unless you're going to do it from, if you're doing it from the ladder, here's a secret about gutter cleaning. When you start gutter cleaning, always go up where the downspout is. Go up where the downspout is, check the downspout. And when you do that, usually if you do it on the corner, usually you can look down one side and look down the other side. And it don't always need to clean. A lot of times there might be a ball in it. There's, everything goes to that downspout. So then you can just clean that out, check it, and then move to wherever it needs it at. Um, but, you know, that's kind of the secret on gutter cleaning. Or gutter cleaning. Um, I am OSHA 30 and OSHA 10 certified. I've seen a lot of videos of where safety equipment has not been used. Do you worry about this? I personally do. I, now that I don't own a business, I don't worry about it as much. I still worry about it a little bit. Um, I haven't heard many people getting in trouble from 
from this. That is one thing about it. Um, I know there has been. If you fall and you get hurt and you claim a claim, you're going to get screwed if you didn't have harness on and everything. If you're doing stupid stuff, you know, you will never, you never ever see me do anything on a roof for where you would have seen me without a harness. I never would put anything on a website. If I was you personally, I would never put anything on a website that has you up there on a roof without the proper harness on and everything. So I did a, I did, I looked at a website the other day and they had this rope tied around this dude around his body. No, 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 that is bad. OSHA would eat you alive because you're not in the proper harness and all this stuff. And here you got a picture of this. You cannot do that. You have to, you know, if you put anything out in marketing, anything like that, never, ever show yourself up there like that. Because if you do fall off, then they're going to hammer you. They're going to hammer you hard because they know you've been doing it in the past too. So I'm not telling you how to get out of it. I'm just telling you that do not ever put anything up there and do not let your employees put anything on, on social media. That is the worst thing ever of them showing you up there without a harness on. So put a harness on, you know, that's something that, you know, and figure out how to put it up there to get you tied off safe. Four gallon cat. Are they good? 4,000 PSI. They'll clean. They work great. Washathon 2020 question. I know you guys are from the East or Mid East. Will it benefit me from being from California? Chemicals are a pain in the rear to get here and, ha and half I can't even get there. Um, move. <laughs> um... <laughs> I'm sure you'll learn something, even if you learn marketing and all that kind of thing. Um, and, you, you know, that's the thing. You know, if you can learn some marketing stuff and all that great stuff, that is some stuff that will help you. But honestly, um, I mean, it just depends. You got any green? Because I, mean, I know some places in there have green, some places don't. Um, we're going to teach how to do concrete cleaning, so you can do a lot of that and all that kind of stuff. I'm looking... I'm looking for 200 gallon water with 25 buffer tank. Um, easy walkable roof. Gave them a deal on the gutter clean out using a blower to clean out. Customer does not care. <laughs> that right there is the best way to clean them out. But you can make a mess, which if they don't care, who cares? Um, <laughs> hey, I told you just move. <laughs> How many pressure washers do you have in your kitchen? I have two in mine. Uh, I don't have any in my kitchen, but I got one in my garage from that build. And I got a one in my Jeep. But, hey, guys. Jason. I have a possible business proposition for you. What is a good way to contact you? I'm in the West Coast in Washington. Um, Jason pressurewashhelp.com slash ask Jason and send me a phone number um, or just write it down in there. Um, that's the best place. If you just send it in me it, to me an email, it gets lost in the email, sea of emails that I get. So that is, um, this is really the best way to get a hold of me. Um, my wife is like, Psh -psh, you need to answer those questions. Psh -psh. So that's the best way to get a hold of me. Um, have you ever used a gutter ball? Nope, I haven't. So, any idea what's the lightest weight extension ladder is more than 32 feet? Um, um, any, the lightest weight extension ladder is more than 20, 32. That's, uh, um, there isn't a light ladder more than 32 feet. That 40 is, uh, sucks it's called, we got one that's called the big green bull hey pure hey man thanks for the super chat that's awesome um that you have given me the most for a super chat so the most i ever had before was five dollars so 
Um, the 32 foot is, uh, it can get heavy too. Let me move out of here because I'm on the wrong screen. The 32 foot can get heavy also. Um, actually, it's not that bad. Um, that is something, but that 40 is suck. So um, the 40, I hate the 40. And if you want to get heavier than that, get a 48 foot. And it takes three people to put it up. You know how I know? Because I did it. Um, I do have a check sheet if you all want to go check it out. It is a check sheet of um, websites, um, a website check sheet. Um, it kind of goes over the five things you need to have for a great website. Um, and i am kind of been going over each one of them. I'm going to go over some more the next couple of weeks on my Wednesdays. So that is something that I will be doing. Um, if you like a website review of your website and get a review of it, go to pressurewashhelp.com slash website review. I do have two in uh, holding right now. So if you get in there, I'll be able to uh, make sure that I get your review. Um, if you, your website is pretty decent, you might not, you're probably going to get bottom of the, you're going to get knocked down one. Um, one of them, I know he does a bunch of sites. And so that's why I didn't actually do his next. I actually did the next one down because this site didn't have very good stuff. So that's why I ended up doing this site. Um, but again, if you go to pressurewashhelp.com slash website review in there, you will find, I will go over your website on Wednesday nights. Next Wednesday night, I will not be here um, because I'm going to be at the firehouse. And since I'm at the firehouse, I will not be able to, I'm not going to do Wednesday nights at the firehouse. I will still do Sunday nights at the firehouse. So this Sunday night, I will actually be at the firehouse by then. So I will do it. But if I get a tone, I don't have all my fancy stuff um, like I do right now. So um, that is something. This, Tuesday, this, uh, this, this Sunday night, will not, I will not bring a guest in. The following Sunday, I'll probably have a guest. So, um, do you build websites? I am in the process of building websites. Um, I don't have any that I can like show you right now. Um, we're getting ready to um, do one. Um, I do. I will be doing websites. Um, I don't have a link up yet for them yet. Oh, so I. I personally. Um, I got a, a designer now that's going to start doing them for me, and then that way we can do that. Um, wait a minute. I'm, I'll answer that question too, but I've gotten a bunch of questions here. Um, your info is priceless. I'm new. I'm new. I need all the help I can get what you are offering and helping me confident to thank you. Hey, and that's a lot of it, you know, and I didn't even put that in my little doodad here. Um, I'm not even selling myself. Oh, that ain't even what I want. So, if you go to pressurewashhelp.com slash training, I have all my training stuff there. I have everything in there that you need to know. Um, I'm adding stuff all the time. You can go check it out. Um, and again, I do, we are starting to build websites. Um, I'm just starting out. I did like the video of being the SME from Southwash. Uh, I haven't seen that one. Where can I get good tags or words to use in my ads or in, on my pages to make the more noticeable or found easy? Um, just there. I don't know about tag. You're not really going to use tags. You're going to use words. Just I'm going to do a series on Wednesday nights on AdWords. I'm I'm going to get through websites first, and then I will do the that series. Um, I, I haven't, um, I want to put actual ads that I, in my course, I, I got all my negative keywords in my course and I go over, um, writing ads and I talk about it in there, but I haven't really wrote, I need to write out some actual ads to show people how it is. So thank you for all you do. You've given me a lot of knowledge and tools to go use forward. That's awesome, Hunter. Um, again, and that's what, you know, even in my training, I want to make sure people are, you know, you do have the knowledge and skill to do it. Little giant ladders are not necessarily lightweight. They're not lightweight at all. Is it worth to have a company pay someone $300 a month for SEO or should I learn to do it myself? Depends on what they're going to do. Um, if, if they're just going to write an article or to write articles, 
I'm not going to pay no $400, $300 a month for that. Um, you need to work on your local SEO. It's more important on it than that. You know, just because somebody writes content don't mean it's going to rank. I guarantee it's probably not going to rank because it's probably going to be crap in the first place um, for $300. Um, but that's just my opinion, and I know everybody has opinions. So, um, I mean, SEO is one of those things that's snake oil. Um, I'll talk more um, if you all want me to talk about SEO in the in the come upcoming market on Wednesdays. Let me know, and I will do some series of um, SEO on Wednesday nights and kind of give you the rundown on SEO. I like that video too. Did you do the estimates over the phone or in person? We did them all over the phone. We never went in in person. I just started pressure washing YouTube. Best way to grow subscribers. I just started a pressure washing YouTube. Best way to grow subscribers. Give, um, tell your story, um, and give, um, and, and be, tell good stories. Basically. Um, if you can tell good stories, you'll get followers, you know, you, and it's not about subscribers at the end of it. Don't worry about subscribers. It's not all about subscribers. It's about telling good stories. It's about, you know, here's the thing. I got as many subscribers as I got, and you know how many subscribers watch my videos? Um, like, less than 20% that are subscribed to my channel. So most people find me even though they're not a subscriber to me. So don't worry about um, um, being subscribers and that. But if you want to know how to grow a channel and get to a thousand, and here's the thing, if you get to a thousand people, it don't mean that you ain't going to make no money. I mean, I'm at 12,000 and I mean, I make $500 a month off of YouTube. whoop to do. Um, you know, and I give a lot of information. So, you know, that is something that, you know, I don't worry about it. But now if you want to know how to grow it, give stuff away. If you give stuff away and do a giveaway, you can do it through King Sumo and make them subscribe, watch three videos and your viewership will go up. And guess what? Your membership, your, your subscribers go away. Um, but try to find stuff to give away that is actually in your niche. So if you're talking about pressure washing, you know, find something in pressure washing that maybe a hundred dollar offer and give it away. And that's how you get to a thousand really quick. Um, but that is something that you can do. Um, but, um, that's just pressure washing is, you know, there's a lot of people out there starting pressure washing channels. And here's the thing. If you're not smart about pressure washing channel and you're just out there to run your mouth and just talk about whatever, and you don't do the smart things of the SEO side of things of making sure your website is on the description, then you're useless at that point. You're, you're doing it for nothing. Um, absolutely nothing. And I don't mean to be hateful, mean, whatever, but if you're not promoting your website that you're trying to do for pressure washing, it does you no good. And here's the thing. People say, well, what if, uh, what, well, I don't want a web, I don't want a pressure washer going through my whole site. The heck you don't. That's what you do want. Because guess what? What do pressure washers do when they go to a website and they're looking on the description? They're going to go to that website and they're going to look at every page. If they're smart, they're going to look at every page and kind of see what you're doing on that website. And what does that tell Google? Well, this site must be pretty good because he's going to every page into that website. So that must be good. And then YouTube will be like, hey, that must be good too because he is, you know, obviously you don't want to get people off of YouTube. You want to watch, keep watching more and more and more so that way you'll come up. Um, some people that you may want to watch, um, don't watch other YouTube. I mean, of course you want to watch Jason Guyman's YouTube channel, my pressure wash help, um, YouTube channel, but there's other than that, you don't have to worry about the rest of them, but you want to watch people like Tim Schmoyer. Um, he puts out great content. Um, um, Nick Nimmin, his brother, D Nimmin, um, Daryl Eves. These are some people that are in the YouTube world that will teach you a whole lot about YouTube. I mean, way more than I'll ever teach you because I'm just giving you the stuff that they've taught me out to you. Um, yard signs or postcard? Yard signs all day long. Be honest in your videos. Tell the good stuff you did and the, and the mistakes. Most of the guys are real people that have made goof-ups and dollar signs. And what's how people learn. 
Yep, that per definitely. You know, hey, tell your and, and and tell your story. You know, don't just tell your story. Tell tell people what you wanted. To, you know, tell people that you know, I I screwed up today. I I burnt up five hundred dollars worth of bushes. Don't do this because you know what I've been telling you all things that I've done that either you need to do or you don't need to do. You know, when you come to my class. When it, like I, I'm gonna have a, I'll be down in Nash or in uh, Georgia, but I also will have a class in March. And you know what I tell people? Everything not to what I've done, and I tell them not what to, no, they don't do that because I already did and I already messed up that that stuff. So that's why you don't do that. I definitely need help on tech savvy things, especially internet and social media marketing. Well, I'm working on that stuff, so. Um, again, I'm, I gotta go to work tomorrow. I'm at the firehouse tomorrow. Um, the last couple of days kind of sucked. We were at the funeral for, uh, another firefighter that had passed. Um, so tomorrow is a day that hopefully I don't have to do a whole lot. So I will be at the firehouse tomorrow. So if you have any questions, go to pressurewashhelp.com slash ask Jason. Um, if you want your website reviewed, go to pressurewashhelp.website um, review. Um, if you want my check sheet, go to um, pressurewashhelp.com slash check sheet. And there you will find my check sheet of um, five things that you need to have a great website. Um, but again, I will be back on here on Sunday. I do have a video coming out Friday and Monday. Watch those. Them are some good videos. Um, the one I kind of get really excited of. How big do you need a water tank? Get tired of that freaking question. Everybody thinks you got to have this gigantic um, water tank. You don't. Unless you're carrying that sucker full everywhere. And most people don't have rigs that can carry them full. Don't need that much water. So um, have a great weekend. This is Hump Day Wednesday. Um, go out there. I know we're kind of in the wintertime. This is, especially if you are going to start a pressure washing business. This is a great time to make sure that you got your LLC ready and you got, I know it costs a little bit of money right now, but this is a great time to make sure you have all those things um, ready to go. So when spring goes, you don't have to worry about them. So go get your LLC. Um, if you need help getting your LLC, you can go to LegalZoom.com and they'll help you get it. Um, get your insurance. Get um, get all the stuff you need so that way you're ready to go make money when March comes. March, April. Because that's when our busy season is really starting to take off. So them are some important times that you really need to um, get out there and, and hit it hard and make sure you're doing it. Um, so... So that is what you need to do. I'll see you on Sunday night. Have a great week, guys.